and welcome to Audi TV, the podcast. The Festival of Speed at Goodwood in England is the world's largest historic motor racing event. The rally has taken place annually since 1993, and every epoch of motoring is represented, with racing cars, motorbikes, and rally cars. Where so much motoring tradition is to be found, then of course, Audi just had to be there as well. The Goodwood Festival of Speed, 100,000 fans. Legends from 100 years of sports car history. Supercars and racing stars at your fingertips. The Goodwood Festival of Speed is unique. No other car show offers such a complete cross-section of sports car history. At no other car event can thousands of visitors walk over the veranda and park of a genuine English Lord's estate. An event where Audi naturally made their mark. Yeah, I mean, we um, got our head office people over from Germany for the first time when we wanted to come here, and they didn't know much about Goodwood. They thought, well, it's kind of some curious English thing. Uh, but then they see vehicles and people coming from all around the world, and, and the atmosphere of the place, they, they say there's just nothing like it anywhere. Certainly one of the more popular attractions is the Forest Rally. 30 rally sport classics plough over the 2.5 kilometre or 1.6 mile track to the cheers of the fans. One of which is the supreme machine that made its mark on the history of rally sport 25 years ago, the Audi Sport Quattro. First of all, they came with four-wheel drive and turbocharged engine, and that both together there was uh, fantastic. So it took a couple of years, but then every big manufacturer was four-wheel drive. Another popular event for the fans is the hill climb competition. Legendary Grand Prix cars, Le Mans champions, Indy cars, and Can-Am bollies, as well as trend-setting rally and touring cars, all donate rubber to the hill climb pavement. It is up to each participant to either time their laps or simply doing an honorary lap like it is with the very old classics. And next to the stars of metal and aluminium, there are also the stars of flesh and blood who get the fans excited. Frank Biela, Audi factory driver and five-time Le Mans winner, is also a Goodwood fan. He's taking the Audi A4 Super Touring car for another spin on the hill climb route. It's the same car in which he won the English Touring Championship in 1996. The highlight of this year's Goodwood Festival of Speed was the world premiere presented by Audi Tradition. After four years of continuous construction, Audi premiered its original replica of the 1939 Union Type D double compressor at Goodwood. Assuming that it is every young boy's dream to be either a racing car driver or a rock star, then the pilot of the tight D's maiden voyage is one of the lucky few to have fulfilled both. The drummer of the legendary rock band Pink Floyd, Nick Mason. This is, to a large extent, a recreation done by Crossweight and Gardner, and uh, I mean, it is magnificent. I mean, the big problem for, for Audi and for Auto Union was that the cars that really all did go missing. They've actually more or less built from scratch. I mean, they've had obviously some components, but they built this car absolutely as it was, yeah. um, including the high gears that it used to get to up to 200 mile an hour, which is a little bit much for me. I mean, this produces sort of over 400 brake horsepower, which uh, that's a, a serious bit of, bit of power. Now, the risk of damage to the original can be avoided by sending it to the Audi Mobile Museum. However, thanks to the replica, the public doesn't have to miss the opportunity of continuing to see the Type D back on the tracks of the world. Thanks for joining us here at Audi TV, the podcast.